So good morning learners. Uh, welcome to today's math lesson. And as I promised you that today's lesson is going to be construction of circles. For us to be able to construct circles, we must have some geometrical instruments. Geometrical instrument. The instruments. And what do I buy from you? I need a working compass, pair of compass. Pair of compass. This is what we call a compass. You will see something like this in a geometrical set if you have one. So ensure that you have this one. You will have a pencil. And the pencil should be sharp. A sharp pencil so that you, you make a thin line. In construction, you want to use what you call thin lines. If you're constructing a thick line, you are likely to get wrong uh, answers because of the size of the lines that you draw. Then lastly, you must have a rubber. Though we don't encourage you to, to do some rubbing in, in construction, but whenever you make a mistake, you must uh, rub your book clean. Because if I see two lines, if you have drawn one circle like this, there's another line passing there. These two lines, and I see something like this, I'll just put a wrong. Meaning that I cannot identify the construction line here. I cannot know which one is, is the construction line. Because you might draw even using your free hand. But I'm telling you, if you draw using your free hand, I'll be able to detect it. I'll just come and place my compass, adjust my compass to this line, and you try to move the compass like that. If the person is not going to follow your line here, then I know that that one is done using free hands. So I want us to construct uh, a few circles here with our centers off. Let's see what we can be able to do. So you must have a radius. So I'm going to have construct circles. With the following, with the following radius, following radius. A, I'm going to have a circular, uh, a circle of radius three centimeter. B, I'm going to use seven centimeter. And lastly, I'm going to have a circle of six centimeter. And maybe we do the last one of at least four point five. D, we are going to have 4.5 centimeters. So these are the radius that we are going to use to be able to construct these particular uh, circles. So what do we mean by radius? If you want to get a radius to be able to use to construct this, you must have also what you call a ruler. Something I've forgotten very important, very important. You can use a ruler, even small ruler, that is a 15 centimeter ruler or that centimeter ruler. You can have the 15 centimeter ruler or that centimeter ruler. These two, and the ruler must be clear. Don't use colored rulers in construction. You must use a clear ruler that will give you the required measurements. So what you do, you have your ruler here, Nana. I'm going to make an example of what you are exactly required to do. So this is point, point zero. So we have small markings. Before the big button, there are four. Then the bigger one becomes the fifth one. So one. One, two, three, four, fifth. So two. Like that. Three. Like that. This four. Like that. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Maybe ten. So this rule of mine is ten centimeters. So what are you supposed to do? The small markings are called inches. Okay, millimeters in this case. They are called millimeters. So five, sorry, ten millimeters make ten millimeters make one centimeter. So one centimeter is simply ten millimeters. Ten small markings make the bigger marking. So if you want to measure three centimeters, you start where we have point zero. And then you point at the three down here, where of the line. Ensure that the line is three. From there, you carry that. That becomes your radius. You carry it and start constructing. So, 
So, and you must remember that constructing is not drawing. Drawing you use you use your free you use arrows and, and rulers. Construction means, means that you are going to use a pair of compass. The mass that you use a pair of compass. So I'm going to construct my uh, uh, circle number one, which is a three centimeters. I'm going to construct a circle of three centimeters. I'm going to place my compass there, and with my three centimeters, I'm going to bring it there. Make sure that it stays freely. Like that. We always have what to call center of. Just like that. If you look at my, my circle, it might have uh, been uh, uh, I mean, uh, drawn wrongly, but because I'm doing it on a blackboard. So, after doing that, Lana, you level here three centimeter. That must be there because that is the radius that you use. If someone asks you, what will be the diameter of this uh, circle? It's very simple. Two times the radius. What is two times the radius? You have the radius is three centimeters. So two times three, so the diameter is going to be six centimeters. If someone asks you to do that. So that's my circle number one. And then this is center O. Ensure that you put the center O there. I'm going to my second uh, part, that is my circle that is going to be 7 centimeters. That is a bit bigger, so I'm also going to measure 7 centimeters, and I'm assuming my 7 centimeters is that much, and so I come down here and try. Make sure you don't lift, you don't lift the compass before you finish drawing. Mine is getting lifted because it's on a blackboard. So where it is stood, where the point is stood, that becomes center O. And the radius, my radius, make sure that you're using a ruler. Don't use free arc like I'm doing. So this becomes 7 centimeters. So that will be my circle B. Then, of course, I will have another circle of 6 centimeters. So the 6 centimeter circle, I'll draw it here. And then lastly, the 4.5. 6 cm, then C, 6 cm circle. So it's going to be slightly smaller compared to this one. So I'm going to do it here, my 6 cm circle. Ensure that this point touches on the book and it's so firm. And then move. I will roll the compass also uh, determines what you're going to get as the last result. Ensure that you don't twist. Don't add the distance as you continue uh, drawing. If you do that, you get some measurements. So my center O is there, center O, with a radius of six centimeters. Those are already three circles. Ensure that your circles look circular objects, but not oval ones. Then from there, I'm going to do the last one. The last one, I'm going to make just a small pattern here. So I'm going to wrap on this side and do the last circle. I'm going to, want to, to, to unite two circles of the same radius. So I'm going to have um, something like this. You can make a, even a pattern. So I'm going to have one, one circular part. That is a circle. Right. Then from there, I'm going to move to that point. Ensure I have the same radius. How do I know the same radius? The mass touch on the other line there. So I bring it and touch on that line and make another another circle. I have two, two circles. If I, draw, I try to draw the diameter, that is going to be my center holes. So I can make a diameter here. I can just draw simply a diameter here. Might not be very correct, but that is the diameter. So this is diameter, radius, so center hole, center hole. 
So my diameter, let's say 8 centimeters. This is also going to be 8 centimeters. And I can draw as many circles as possible to be able to draw and make a pattern. So I want you to I want you to do an exercise on construction of circles. You'll be guided and see how your supposed to place your compass there. On page 94. Page 94. We have exercise 70. Exercise 70. And I want you to have I don't want you to draw so many, so many uh, uh, circles. But there's one pattern you're going to make. That is on number three. So I want you to do number one to three. One to three. Ensure that you do that work. Do it well. You'll be guided how to make that pattern on number three. And then uh, you can also as well do a, a, an exercise. Just for practice, you repeat that 15 uh, on number three using a, a different size of a, of a radius that you can be able to do at all. So until next time when we meet, next time we are going to see also the parts of a circle. It's going to be a very brief lesson because parts of a circle is something we have done in class. So I'm just going to remind you and give you a lot of fun. So may God bless you. Uh, uh, may you continue doing that work and do it well. Once you finish, just pause it back to me for marking. God bless you.